Can you eat a javelina? What do you think, Corey? Can you eat a javelina? Mm, yeah. You can eat just about anything. <laughs> That's what you can eat about anything if you're hungry enough. But a lot of people will throw these away. They think they're junk. They'll shoot them, let them lay. They'll run them off. I'm going to tell you right now, a javelina is good to eat. If you get you a good smoker, you prepare the meat right, you can barbecue a javelina without a doubt. But javelina is, is good eating. You just have to prepare it right. We're going to skim this one out, and we're going to uh, soak it in a nice bath with some apple cider vinegar. We're going to pull it out and barbecue it and uh, let y'all know exactly how good this javelina is. But I'm going to tell you right now, I've eaten them before, shot a lot of them in the past, and, and we did this one for you just to show you could do it. It is a boar. So we have got a uh, boar javelina here, and we're going to show you that they are uh, edible. They're not something terrible, but uh, let us get him skin up, and then we'll uh, show you what to do. The other thing is on these is they have, do have a muck sack. So when you skin it, you got to be very careful. Come here. You can get in camera in close. Looks like a little nipple right there. All right. Don't break that, whatever you do. But when we skin it, their hide's real thick. We're going to go up underneath the hide. We're never going to touch that. We're gonna get it off, whack his head off. We're gonna keep the shoulders. We're gonna keep the uh, hands and we'll cut the loin out. And then uh, we'll drop back in and show y'all how to, how to cook up a javelina. And I bet you it's pretty good eating, so stick around. Here, we're getting close to that, that, that is right here. Is where it's at and so when we get here we just want to make sure we don't cut into it that we stay and i'm gonna tell you right now their skin is tough so as long as you stay under the skin and you're getting this connective tissue here you're not going to get into that uh uh that gland and believe me you don't want to get into that gland because it does stink well you can tell is just how tough their hide is this knife would shave you when we started this a while ago. All right, Corey. Got him there? Yeah. Let me see right here. It is just oh, tough, tough cutting. I'm going to tell you right now, folks, that knife is not real dull. Dude. Like I said, when we started, it would shave you. And I, right now I'm at that, I'm here on the backbone and I am at that, that, that must sack is right underneath where I'm at. So, connective tissue. Once you kind of get down a little bit past that, this real tough part right here, and get to going, it gets a lot easier. But they're pretty tough on that back end, especially where that, sack is. Corey's got pressure on it. And we're just there we go. Must sack is gone. It's that it's right here. If y'all look, get up close. See this right here? That's that must sack right there. So we're good. In down, fix and take the neck off. But uh nice clean pretty meat. Uh gonna just once we get the head off we can throw it in a nice chest. And uh, we'll get back with y'all when it's time to start cooking this thing. So stick around. Got the javelina in here. Now, what I did was it's in an ice bath with about a cup of apple cider vinegar. Been soaking in there for, oh, about, I'd say 36 hours maybe. But we're going to come in here. We're going to get him out. And uh, I'm going to cut the shoulders and the hams off. I'll show you how I do that. And then uh, we're going to season him up. And we're going to go get him on the barrel house cooker. There he is. So we're just gonna take these shoulders off and you can come in here right underneath them. There's no joint in here. So what you do is, is just come in here and cut underneath it. And we're gonna go up around this backbone. I mean, this uh, shoulder blade. Now we can just cut right here on the back side a 
There we go. One shoulder we're going to cook up. Going to let some people sample this a little bit, see what they think about javelina. We'll get their reactions for y'all. How about that? So here's the other one. And again, you just try to go in there and miss that, all the parts of that shoulder blade. A little cartilage at the top of it. Sometimes if you don't get it straight, you'll, uh, you'll catch that cartilage at the top of it. But there we go. Another nice shoulder off. Move the avelina over here. Now, y'all are gonna hear them called different things. Javelina, some people call them musk pigs because of that musk sack. Uh, collared peccary is what they officially are. But uh, we're just gonna come in here and any of this loose hanging stuff, we can, we can get it off there. I'm not gonna be real critical on what I do here. We're gonna have another video so y'all stick around of uh, cooking up the hams and also cooking up the back straps off of this. So be looking for that. Little bloodshot there, we'll get that off. But that flap of meat, I think we can probably get rid of it. Those are about the right. We'll season these up good. Uh, gonna use just my all-purpose seasoning. Y'all see me use this on my chicken and my pork. I'll put a recipe down below for that, but we'll sprinkle it on. We'll get that smoker up to about 275 degrees, and we're going to hang these shoulders. There we go. Uh, let's go out and check the fire if it's ready. We're going to get these shoulders on there. These are ready to get outside, so I'm just going to show you how I hook them up. Just turn them over here and uh, you can do it kind of however you want to. I'll usually come in, it depends on the size of the shoulder, but that gives me enough room to hang it. And these aren't real heavy, so I'm not going to worry about daisy chaining it. Sometimes y'all see me hook them two together. I'm not going to worry about that today. I'm just going to come in here, get this hook up underneath that shoulder blade. All right. Pits at just a little over 275, it's about 285, so we're gonna drop in our shoulders. Shoulder number one. Shoulder number two, I'm gonna keep my Prong, kind of in between them, monitor temperatures. Close it back up. All right, check this barrel house and look. We have got two javelina shoulders. They're smoking up. Really nice, looking pretty. Been going about 275 for about two hours. They are almost ready and looking good. These javelina shoulders are up about 205 degrees, so we're going to pull them all off. Let's get this first one out. Take the heat probe out, lay it down. Boy, it's got a nice bark on there. Let's get this other one. There we go, two javelina shoulders. Let's see how they turned out. We've been letting these rest for a little bit. These boys are hungry. They're gonna see if uh, javelina is edible or not, but we're gonna get these out. Looks like they might be a little bit dry. Wild game doesn't have a lot of fat. But we're going to see. Inject them probably wouldn't have hurt, but we want to get the true flavor, right? We're going to cut this open. Looks pretty good in there. Look at that pretty smoke ring. Ooh, man, we got plenty of smoke on there. Shave some of that off right there. That's up close to the bone, that's gonna be real good. Keeping these boys away is not easy, I tell you that right now.
I had smoke ring there, like it went all the way down to the bone on there, where that down on that shank area. Let's see if we can pull that bone off. Look at that. It's darn sure tender. So who wants to try this first? <laughs> okay. Boy, would you look at that? I need a yes, this is good, or no, this is terrible. Throw it away. <laughs> How is it, guys? Good. Tell you what, this isn't bad eating, is it? A lot of people say you can't eat a javelina. They're nasty. They're terrible. Now, this was a boar javelina. Good size. Y'all saw it when we started the, the video. But I tell you what, it's got a nice bark on it. Barrel House Cooker cooked it up great. Used my seasoning that... uh. Recipe is going to be down below for the seasoning. Y'all guys ready for some more? Nobody's turning it down. There you have it, guys. Javelina barbecued up on the uh, barrel house cooker. And uh, I think our test of can you eat this or not is definitely yes. And do we want to do it again? Yeah. Everybody's in agreement. This is good stuff, and we're going to try it again. So thanks for stopping by Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Always do appreciate it. Uh, remember to share us with your friends and family. Share us on your social media. And we're going to see you all down the road on Texas Style Barbecue and Cuisine. Goodbye, everybody. How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen.